entrance and the fun. You we have redeemed us, Lord. <coughs> From every tribe, tongue, and people, and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am the greatest sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my own fault, through my own fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessing Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May my God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the to the voice of our pleading, and grant that those who have been, have redeemed, you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood, may have life through you, and under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, Brother, my brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem. And their, and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in the tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for, for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are, are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this, this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers he was brought, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising of Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my, my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask, and ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall scatter them like an, an earthen disc. You, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, you give heed. 
Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice before him with, trem with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have So I think in a more perfect and beautiful way, 
Jesus is saying that. Yeah, you trust in God. You have faith in God. Have faith in me as well. Because I come from God. You know, I and the Father are one. You know, Jesus, will, you, you will always win with Jesus. Because God always wins. Now, it doesn't always feel like you're winning. <laughs> you know, but every war has its setbacks. Every battle has its setbacks. But at the end of the day, the winning side is the Lord. And so, to trust in that victory, that victory that we find through Christ. And to not be discouraged when, you know, when you fall or when, when something happens that shakes you and, 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 and causes you to maybe lose your footing for a moment. But to stand up and say, all right, Lord, I trust in you, I have faith in you. You are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. I renew my commitment and I'm going to continue to move forward. Because at the end of the day, God always wins. stand together and, perfect, uh, and offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the church throughout the world that we will have an increase in faith, hope, and charity, and in every moment keep our eyes fixed on the Lord, who is the way, truth, and life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who are, are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by the coronavirus, that they will find healing, peace, and strength in the midst of the sickness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of trust and hope in our world and in our country, um, that we may turn away from fear and trust the Lord will provide. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our political leaders, locally and nationally, worldwide, that they will enact laws and policies in conformity with truth, justice, and the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our first responders, our medical personnel, our nurses, doctors, and those who care for the sick and the elderly, that they may find strength and courage and, and uh, renewal in, in, their, in their service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer these petitions, and we ask that in your love you may grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
Fruit of the vine will become a hand to become our spiritual fruit. Bless us, God, our prayer. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world, provide your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Father, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins and on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace and the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. <coughs> Lamb of God. You take away the distance of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the distance of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the distance of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only the same word in my soul shall be healed. Amen.
Soul of Christ, thanks be to me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, be free of me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Hands of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from me. From the living and the living and the living. In the hour of my death, call me and take me unto you. That with your saints I may praise you. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his, in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is a reminder we will not have, we will not have Mass or streamed Mass Saturday morning, tomorrow at 9 a.m., because we are resuming our weekend masses of 5.30. Well, 5.30 mass, uh, 8 o'clock in Cherryville. The 10 o'clock mass on Sunday will be the streamed mass, and then uh, the noon mass will be English, um, so that we can split the, the 10 o'clock crowd in two, between the 10 and the noon. So, pray everything goes smoothly. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And let us pray together for the protection of our families, our parishes, the church, nation, and world. Say, my